Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the non-inverting amplifier by using OP27. So the simulation of non-inverting amplifier by using OP27, right? This is operational amplifier that is OP27. I will show you the the impact of gain to the output voltage i will vary the gain here and i will show you the output voltage okay so you you already know that the output voltage v out of this non inverting amplifier is given by v in into 1 plus r2 divide by r1 that is this this is r2 divide by this is r1 so this is basically the formula for non inverting amplifier okay so let us verify if this this uh, this works for our application right so you can see here we i i have used op27 the power supply for op27 is plus v plus is 15 volt and v minus is minus 15 volt that means the power supply for op27 is plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt and you can see your input signal is connected to the non inverting terminal and at the inverting terminal you have your gain components okay so this r2 and r1 forms the gain component and this is input that is why it is written here i in and this is out okay so here is input and here is output now i will run the transient analysis and i will show you the signals right so let me change the r2 value to 1k here first okay so you have to go simulate edit simulation command then click it transient and the stop time is 1 millisecond okay here you can see your input signal so your input signal is 1 volt so now i will run the simulation and i will show you the behavior of this circuit so go at this button this is run button and and first i will show you the supply voltage so here you can see your supply is positive supply is plus 15 volt negative supply is minus 15 volt and your input is here let's say a one volt peak that means okay two volt peak to peak okay this is one volt at positive side and one volt at negative side right so this is your input signal now you have gain one okay so if you calculate by using this formula v out equals to right v out equals to v in into one plus r2 divided by r1 so in this case your r2 is 1k r1 equals to 1k so here you have 1 plus 1k divided by 1k you will get 2 okay that means your v out equals to 2 in 2 into v in right so in this case your v in is since 1 volt let us see what is your output so now you can see your this is v in which is in here so this is v in and your v out is here this is 2 volt here you can see it is 1.963 and this is 1 volt right 1 volt so now in this case you have gain of 2 now let me change the value of this r2 and this time the value for this r2 is 10k that means you have gain of 11 and if you multiply by 1 you you for this time your output value should be 11 volt let me click it here and now you can see your input is here somewhere this is 11 volt okay closer to 11 volt so now in this case your output is 11 volt let me change the gain to let's say 13k here the value of rt r2 that means your gain is now 14 and your output should be 14 volt okay 
now you can see yo yo output now start clipping here so this is 13.77 yo yo calculated value is yo calculated value is uh, 14 volt now but you can see the yo output is 13.77 that means yo op27 is rail to rail op amp and it can maximum deliver the voltage to to 13.7 so so the output voltage is now 13.7 and even now if you increase more gain your output will be clipped off to the positive and the negative supply rails that means your operational amplifier is now trying to get saturate to its power supply value okay let us increase the gain here for 20 the value for r2 is 20k that means gain is now 21 so in this case your output should be should be your output should be as per theoretical value it should be 21 volt let us see what happens to the output if you run the simulation again now you can see your output is clipped off here you are getting maximum 14 13.9 volt and this side negative side you also getting 13 point minus 13.9 volt so you can see your input is sinusoidal signal but you can see your output is saturated at the supply voltage and your your signal is now deteriorating it it has clipped off and it appears like a it appears like a square wave right so at the peak value it is clipping off okay so that means that means if you increase the supply voltage if you increase the gain beyond your supply voltage your output will output will be clipped off now let me say okay so so this is not this is not ideal condition that you you don't know anything and you are you you keep on increasing the gain of the amplifier okay one more parameter if you go and see the data sheet of op27 you may find the gain bandwidth product okay so the gain bandwidth product should be always always whatever given in the data sheet okay so beyond that you cannot increase the gain of your operational amplifier hope you understand the simulation of right op27 which is used as non inverting amplifier if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video